Will one of you finally give me what I desire? Hey what's up guys, CBK here to bring you another Marvel Spider-Man 2 video and you know the deal. Marvel Spider-Man 2 is basically the only thing I cover on this channel so if you're new here go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're looking for another Marvel Spider-Man 2 channel. But today I'm bringing you part 2 of my map changes that I want to see implemented into Marvel Spider-Man 2. Keep in mind that I did say part 2 so if you feel like I left anything out of this list it's probably because I covered it in the first part of this video. The overall idea behind this video is to come up with ideas to increase the immersion of this game and help give an authentic New York experience to the player. With that being said, let's go ahead and swing on into my wish list. So the first thing that I want to see in this game when it comes to the map is a more dynamic weather system, meaning that at any point in time during free roaming, I could see some clouds starting to form from the other side of Manhattan that could potentially lead to a small rainstorm. Perhaps it's raining over in Harlem, but it's kind of clear and dry over in the financial district. Or maybe some days it's just a really windy day in New York City and that wind slightly affects your swinging. Spider-Man PS4 definitely did switch up the weather a little bit, but there really wasn't a natural transition for the weather. The weather could change in between cutscenes, or you would come out of a building and it would suddenly be sunny or rainy. I feel like some real-time weather effects that are just natural transitions could really help with the immersion in this game. Alright, the next thing that I want to see more of is destructive environments. I definitely enjoyed the fact that you could interact with a lot of objects on the streets in Spider-Man PS4, like throw trash cans or car doors. It was a nice step in the right direction, but now we need more destruction when it comes to the effects of combat. I want to see bricks crack on buildings if I throw an enemy against a wall, or trucks become dented if I kick an enemy into the side of a truck. More destruction is definitely going to be needed in this game where the symbiote is going to be introduced. Peter is going to be more powerful than ever, so the damage dealt is going to be increased. And perhaps the damage that Peter leaves around town starts to give this black suited Spider-Man a bad image with the public. I would love to know what you guys think of this one. So next up on my wish, I want to see Spider-Man have more interactions with the civilians on the streets of New York City. It was cool to see Spider-Man give a high five to a civilian in the first game, or maybe take a selfie, but I want more of that. Increasing the things that you can do with civilians will definitely help with the immersion in this game. How about the ability to walk up to a hot dog cart for a quick hot dog, or stop by a coffee stand for a hot cup of coffee? I'd even love the ability to have civilians ask for help for the smallest things. Let's say you were swinging through the city and all of a sudden you see a balloon flying up and notice that a kid on the street level accidentally let go of it. It would be so cool if you were able to go grab that balloon for him and bring it down to him. Just small interactions like that and being the friendly neighborhood Spider-Man is something that we need more of in this game. The little things can go a long way. Alright so the last thing on my list is the addition of the Baxter building or the Fantastic Four building for those who weren't aware of what it was called. With all of the easter eggs for other Marvel characters in Spider-Man PS4 I was honestly surprised that this wasn't in the game to begin with. But if you didn't know Insomniac was actually forced to remove the Chrysler building in Spider-Man Miles Morales due to a copyright issue. So I would love for Insomniac to go ahead and place the Baxter building in its place as opposed to having some random and blank and skyscraper. I mean, you can't put Fantastic Four suits in the game and not give us the Baxter building, right? So guys, that's going to conclude this video for me, and it's probably going to be the last one in this map series. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to check out the first part if you didn't watch that. They're in no particular order, so you can watch it in any order that you want to. But that's it for me, guys, and until next time, I'll see you guys later.